Welcome back, Fair Structure Traders and YouTube for another market analysis for the London session. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys do like the videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys subscribe with us. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We'd love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for S&P 500, we got some areas of resistance. First one being 40, 29, 70. You can see we pushed up into that level here and we rejected right off of that coming right down from those 29s into about 22. Nice rejection off that area. Now our next level up for resistance if we break through those 29.75s is 40.36. Uh, and then above that, we got some other levels, 4061 as the next level up above as resistance. Now, if we fail to get through these 36s, you could look for a nice double top here and then a short opportunity back to the downside. But as of right now, uh, we are waiting for this market to come back down into support. So for the London session, we want to see if we get down to those 401575s and then get a nice bottom bounce there. If not, next level down below 4,007.75 as the next area of support down below. So keep an eye out for those levels on S&P 500. Moving over into gold, gold kind of in the middle of the range right now, but we got resistance sitting at 1852 to about 1853. Want to see this curl right back to the upside, reject here, give a nice double top, and then push down from there. We are moving downward, so could get a nice short opportunity from those 53s coming back down into 1844 to about 1841.8. Next support level down below, 1838. Point five. Now, if we get down to 41 and we fail to get through, look for a double bottom and then a push right back to the upside. Could be an opportunity for uh, range play, meaning we sell high and buy low. But uh, if it's in the middle, stay away from the middle area. Uh, be safer to trade that way if you just play off the edges. Moving over into crude oil, let's take a look at what we got. So, crude oil right at support right now. You can see we got a bit of a zone coming in. A little bit of a wider one here, 120.10 to about 120.58. What I'd like to see is the market come back down into this area here, into this bottom of the zone, get a double bottom, and then push right back to the upside. So that's going to be a long opportunity that we look for. Next zone down below, 119.79 to about 119.43. If we just break right through these uh, 120s, looking for the downward side, and then maybe a double bottom here for a nice move back to the upside uh, for lower supports 119.04 and then 118.54 as the levels down below now resistance is up above a little bit wider for me here 121.85 to about 122.08 this is going to be the area of resistance here so want to keep an eye out here for that resistance want to see if we get the opportunity to get a nice double top here right off the top and then a nice short opportunity coming right back down. If not there, 122.39 to about 122.73 is our next level of resistance up above. So we're keeping an eye out for that for the London session, but that wraps it up for S&P 500 gold and also oil. Again, if you guys do like the videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe with us. Again, any questions, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. If you guys are going to trade, make sure you guys trade with discipline and patience. I know with discipline, it's harder to trade and do the things you don't want to do, but it's important to make sure that you continue to stick to those rules. Uh, but other than that, you guys take care. Have a great night.